How you doing, everybody? This is Yako with a beautiful idea. In the matter of this beautiful idea, may everybody have advice to be able to weather the storms in their life and the hard times. So, um, I was last week. Uh, I was reading. Um, actually, it was a couple weeks. Uh, last week I was reading on the parsha of Yetze, which speaks about Yaakov Avinu going from Be'er Sheva to Haran. Um, that's where the whole event, where he saw the ladder, Jacob's ladder, the whole event happened over there. Um, at the end of that Torah portion, um, there's a beautiful commentary um, to be able to expound so much and understand w- way deeper ideas. Um, many, many, many. There are many commentaries. One of them, like I always like to give over, is Rabbi Natan of Bresov in the Kute Alachot. And his magnum opus, the, his four thousand page, uh, um, uh, amazing work, uh, based off of the Kutem Rabbi Nachman's the Kutem Aran, um, and basically what he brings down over there, um, something amazing. We know Yaakov Avinu he was preparing for Esav his brother to come, with his four hundred men, and it says a lot of uh, different sentences over there about um, Yaakov being afraid, what not. Um, but the 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 main uh, one of the main pieces of advice there are actually a lot of beautiful pieces of advice that I heard um, and I, and I, that I've read and I've seen. Um, so one of one of the beautiful pieces of advice that Rabbi Natan Abresa wrote uh, came down with Lukut um, Halachot, which was about Yaakov. He split up his camps, uh, Rachel and Leah. He wanted. At least, no matter what, basically, you know, like an uh, army comes, he wanted, uh, sorry, an enemy comes, he wanted to be able to have something of his that will remain. No matter what the situation's worst case scenario, a plan always have a, to, to, to had a, he, he wanted, he had a plan B. So how, how do we liken this to? What do we liken this to? The enemy's coming at you, have plan B. You have plan A, you want to you wanna be able to defeat them, you want to appease them, you don't want to be able to... You don't want to. You want You want there to be war. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you want there. You want there to be peace. Um, but at the same time, you have to prepare for for your life. So Rabbi Natan brings that brings down there like this is like somebody who wants to fulfill a certain piece of advice in life. They want to have shalom. They want they want to fulfill a certain piece of advice. So what do they say? You know, the Yitzhari is coming at me, and He's coming at me full force to not have shalom, right? So what can I do that no matter what, plan B, okay? If if part A, of I have two portions. Or let's say you split up what you have into two portions, right? Part A, something you may not be able to save. I'm not saying, God forbid, a person should be hopeless or helpless. Rather... Person says a, a person might have God slipped up according to the Yitzhahara, Yitzhahara, which is like the, the Esav, is coming at the person. And you want to fulfill the advice of to have peace in your home. You want to fulfill the advice, uh, let's start with that, okay? To at least have a safety net, plan B, that no matter what, something should remain. That no matter what, your se- part of yourself should be able to recognize, okay, this low, I cannot go. I mean, I, I understand I could have slipped A, B, and C, but D, uh, this is where I stop. This is where I realize I need to shut my mouth. I need to, a person needs to walk, take a walk for 10, 15 minutes, okay? A person gets to a certain place, they need to know no matter what, you want to work on yourself, fine. But also have plan B. Also have a situation is if you're not doing exactly what you want to do and you feel like either all or nothing, either I'm going to have complete peace in my home or not at all. Right, so the Yitzhahara, that's what the Yitzhahara, Esav with his uh, 400 men are coming at a person. The Yitzhahara is coming with that, all his cohorts, all his friends, and coming at a person within and without, within even within your house. And he's, and he's trying to give, make all the good reasons why you should argue, all good reasons why you should think should break, and everything should go wrong. You should at least have some wisdom that says, okay, this is where I shut my mouth, it's not going anywhere, and I need to walk out, go go take a walk for 10-15 minutes, go to the side of your house, 
go outside, go outside in your backyard, do whatever you have to do, go to, go to the bathroom, whatever the situation is, do what you have to do um, so to be able to stop yourself so that you can keep part of the advice of peace. And and he also says, let's say, uh, Rav Jor in, in, in previous um, uh, classes, actually one class he gave, um, is that uh, let's say you're a rabbi, let's say somebody tells you um, you need to do an hour of personal prayer, six hours of personal prayer, let's say. And let's say one day, that the day that you were given this advice, you were, you were, let's say you were able to do that one day. But afterwards, or maybe you weren't able to do it at all. Let's just say you were. One day you were able to do it. Afterwards, to do, to do an hour, to do six hours of personal prayer was crazy. It was, just, it was just too much. It was just too much. So be thankful that you're able to do whatever you're able to do, number one. And number two, don't throw the advice away completely. Don't say, oh, because I wasn't able to do the full advice, the whole advice, therefore I shouldn't do it at all. That's what the Yitzhar wants. He wants a person to not hold on. He wants the person to give up, give up on the advice. If you minimum have plan B, Okay, so I can't right now. I, I'm having so much trouble to do an hour. I have so much trouble doing the six hours. Whatever I was told, whatever I was advised, whatever I saw even in a book that I would love to do, do 15 minutes, do 10 minutes, start with five, start, do 20. Do what you can. See where you're located so that some of the advice will remain with you. That advice will bring you to the whole. That advice will eventually bring you to the place you want to do, you want to be in. But like Yaakov, split up your camps. See that in this whole long exile, in this whole hardship of battling against the Sahara, the evil inclination, that he wants us to be extreme in our service of Hashem, in our service of God, so that if for some other reason we cannot do a one whole piece of advice, that we're being advised or that we know is best for us, we know it's good for us to do, okay? He knows if he can get us to not do the way we want it to do, our perfectionist attitude, okay, to be perfect, he knows that we're going to say, throw in the towel and say, I can't do all of it, I'm not going to do it at all. So be like Yaakov, be like the righteous person that he says, you know what? I want the advice to remain with me, so I'm going to do what I can, even though, even though I can't do the whole advice. I'm going to do that 15 minutes as opposed to an hour. I'm going to do that hour as opposed to six hours. I'm going to do whatever I can so that things should remain with me in order to be able to long-term have that relationship I'm looking towards and to be sane about it and to grow, take step by step, and that's the healthy relationship that we want to have with God. Because in the end of the day, it's not about the amount of hours that you can do it's not about the minutes that you can do. It's not about all of that. It's, a, it's really about the relationship that you're building with God. Not, not what only what you're accomplishing within comp- accomplishing the advice that you want to accomplish, but also how it affects you outside of your life. You're, when you're praying, I heard a beautiful, a beautiful thing from Gedalia Fenster um, that he said um, that, uh, that the meditation and prayer, it's for your life. It's not for it's not for it's not about getting good at meditation. It's about getting good at life. So prayer and all of these pieces of advice are to help you get good at life, to help you to weather the challenges in life better. So whatever you're doing, God is with you. So just don't throw in the towel all the way. Use the advice of the tzaddik Yaakov, the righteous person Yaakov, that he was a wholesome person, that he was honest with himself, and that he realized there are times in life that are hard. Yes, there it's true but at least keep part of the advice that you want to do. You want to learn a book for an hour? Learn it for 15, 20 minutes. Learn it for 10 minutes, for 5 minutes. Keep at it. Be consistent at it. And then you'll bring it up. You'll bring it up higher. Because as Rabbi Nachman says, the Torah is so powerful. Even a little bit. The Torah is so powerful. You set yourself time to study on a daily basis. 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 2 minutes, 3 minutes. Every day. Be consistent. Be focused during that time. And it'll elevate everything. It will bring a person back. That's how powerful the Torah is. That's how powerful what God gave us. May everybody merit to be able to accomplish this advice. No matter what the situation is, hold on to the advice. Hold on to what you can. Be consistent. And Hashem will open it up for you 100%. Have a beautiful night. Beautiful day. Enjoy.